How's it going there YouTube? It's Rich Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys how to take your HTC One M8 Verizon variant, that's at least for what I've got. It'd be the same concept, different files to do this. But we're going to show you guys how to take an RUU file, which is ROM Update Utility, and stick this device in HBoot. And once it's in HBoot, we're going to go ahead and flash over the official firmware to this device to restore it completely to stock Android 4.4.4 and you'll be totally stock again. You'll get rid of all of your custom ROMs, recoveries, everything. You'll maintain your SOF because SOF is required to do this and you'll maintain your unlocked bootloader if you have those two things already done. But you do have to have SOF for this to function. But once you do, you'll totally restore your device and you'll be rocking. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so to get your fully restored HTC One M8 done, let's show you how to do this. So, you're going to need some files first of all, I'll link you to everything you're going to need in the video description down below, so don't worry about that. You'll see them, everything you need there will be an XDA thread for the guy who put these RUU files together. So I'm just going to get in here and show you what we're going to need to do. So this does require S off, cancel that for right now. Um, you have to have SOF for this to function, so go SD card 2. And basically, um, what this is going to do is this is going to restore your device to Android 4.4.4 stock uh, HTC One M8. It'll be totally stock. Um, and if you do the last step, you'll even get rid of the bootloader warning for boot up. You'll still remain with an unlocked bootloader and SOF. But this does require SOF to do because you're using this, you're doing this through uh, the RUU or HBoot. So, that being said, let's go ahead and just show you guys what we're going to do. So you're going to take your files, two of them specifically, I have three on here, and you're going to put them, the third one is uh, Torp Recovery, and you're going to put them on your external SD card on the device and they're going to be in the root of your external SD card. Very, very important. So, the ROM file, which is all of the firmware, I think is this one. We're going to go to More Properties. Uh, no, that's not the right one. Let's check if it's the other one. Let's try this one. Just to make sure. Actually, we'll do Rename. Yeah, the, so that is the correct file. So, what we need to do here is we need to rename it and what we're going to rename it is very simple come on let's see if I can get it here I don't want to erase the whole thing so we're going to erase everything that way so we're going to go back and it should be called if you guys can see this now 0p6bimg.zip all in capitals, yeah, all in capitals except for the dot .zip, hit OK. So once you've renamed, um, you should be left with that right there. It should say 0p6bimg.zip. Um, and what that does is that allows the um, RUU HBoot to see the zip and ask you to flash it in HBoot. That's basically what we're doing. So basically what this does, once you've got that renamed on your external SD card to that name, when you go into HBoot, it'll flash. So um, what this does is this will go ahead and um, if you have like SideGen Mod 11 installed, if you have uh, Viper ROM, or if you have Hyper, uh, HyperDrive, or any of the cool custom ROMs that are out there, anything done to this device basically, and you have S off, this is going to let you flash this. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and power off the device. Now that we have that on the uh, SD card. I was using ES File Browser right there, and that's what I would recommend to do this. So from here, you're just going to hold volume down, and then you're going to hold power. And just keep holding them until you see the uh, HBoot screen right there. And you can see right here, it's checking SD card, and it's loading up that image that we just renamed. So it's loading everything up. Here you can see I'm unlocked. You can also see I have S off. 
Those are two very important things for this to function correctly. Not so much the unlock, but the S off. Because you can't use H boot unless you have S off. So basically it's going to take a little bit for this image to load. It is, I think, um, a gig and a half or something like that almost in file size. So it's, it's a pretty good size file. So it is going to take a little bit for it to finish loading up. Another quick note about this is um, I'm pretty sure using this RUU file like I'm going to show you here is going to wipe your data and you're going to lose all of your applications and all the stuff on your device. So highly recommend um, backing up anything you want critical and then being ready to reset your device. It Maybe it won't. I don't really know 100%. I've not used this exact RUU file, but I would be prepared for it to do that. All right, finally it finished loading. So what's interesting here that you can see is you can see it says parsing SD zip and reset HTC debug flag and it starts listing off everything that it wants to flash. So if you're happy with flashing all this, which looks like everything we're talking, boot, bootloader, recovery, um, sensors, systems, trust zones, radios, looks like this is gonna do all of it, basically like totally resetting the firmware is what we're doing here. And upgrading it also to the 4.4.4 Android version. So very, very cool. I was on previously 4.4.2, um, maybe even been original version of firmware for this device. So to do this, you're going to hit volume up for yes or volume down for no. I'm going to go ahead and do volume up and we're going to go ahead and reset it. All right, so you can see things actually updating. Let's see what happened here. Looks like it shut off. Um, okay. That is interesting. So, okay, so I can already see that um, my HBoot bootloader has been updated. That's different. So I think those are the first things it does in this flash. And then it's got to load back up the image again. So we'll let that finish loading and see if it actually automatically goes into flashing more or if we have to select something again. I'm kind of curious. But that definitely updated my HBoot and it looks like maybe my radios too got updated with that little quick flash. Just want to point this out. Anytime it does this loading, you can see there's a progress bar on the side here that's in blue and, and then white is what's left of still loading. So um, you can see that progressing right there just jumped. Um, but if you leave this um, file on your SD card, anytime you go into HBoot, um, or bootloader mode, it's going to do this process of checking everything and then asking if you want to install it. So it's kind of annoying. It's why we're going to want to actually go back and probably rename that file so that it doesn't do this every time you go into HBoot mode and ask if you want to update or ask if you want to restore your using this RUU file. So there you go. We are now flashing everything. You can see because what it did first is it went ahead and it flashed the H boot, the radios, all that stuff that you can see basically in here to update it. And now it's going ahead and it's updating everything else. You got your boot, your recovery, your sensor hub, your splash one, your system, and all those things. So this is going to take a little bit to finish updating all this stuff. And then we'll hopefully be moving right along here. All right, guys, it just wrapped up. Um... Updating is in progress, it says still, but you can see everything flash through as okay. It even has a status up here. It looks like it's actually going to loop back through the screen because I think there's things that are on here in this list of 1 through 9 that actually are more than that. And yeah, okay. So press power to reboot. Okay, so it finished. Uh, official status, all that stuff looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and press power to reboot. And... So, so far to do this process, to do all of the loadings and all this kind of stuff, oh that's cool, powered by Android, very nice. It looks like we got rid of that uh, uh, warning logo at the beginning, which is cool. Um, little flicker flash there, that's interesting. This first boot up, I'm going to say, is probably going to take a while. Oh, uh, man, shouldn't have done it. Brought back that logo. Oh, rough, rough, rough. Um... But, yeah, so it looks like it, it got rid of the warning, bootloaders unlock, basically warning on the beginning saying about developer device, blah, 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 firmware, all that stuff got cleaned off. I did have a file that can remove that if it didn't, but it looks like the official RUU here took it all the way back. 
First boot up here is going to take probably upwards of five minutes to boot. Um, be patient for that. The whole process of installing the RUU file between all the different loading times um, took about uh, about 12 minutes. So when you get done and said and done with it, by the time you get everything on your device and you start running the process to the time it boots and you have a fully functioning phone again, you're probably going to give yourself a good 25 minutes for this process to go through. Um, but a huge shout out to the developer over at XDA, XDA who put this together and got these files for us. I really appreciate that. Um, just makes these things so easy to get back and running uh, stock on our HTC One M8 once again. So there you go. That is the startup screen. From here you can go ahead and go through your full setup. And like I said, you will be running that the 4.4.4. So let's check it out really quick. Okay, dokie, shabam, oh it's blink feed, I hate that stuff, get rid of that. Um, we'll go into settings, you can see everything does look quite official, about software, I think, yep, right there, Android 4.4.4, boom, done. Latest firmware on the HTC One M8 Verizon variant anyway. Um, there you go. That's going to be it for me, guys. I uh, just wanted to show you how to do this, how to restore this. If you're tired of running ROMs and you just want to put it back to stock, boom, that's how you do it. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, please stay tuned for more on this device right here. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. All right, quick note. Once we got this thing set up, I just wanted to show you guys this really quick also. This does still leave SuperSue in there if you want it, so you still do have root access on your device by using these RUs. And then lastly, I want to show you this. We need to go into File Manager and go to your SD card. And I actually already did this, but I renamed these. See how they were? That other number, uh, 0p6bimg.zip. I renamed it to 4.4.4 stock and then if you ever want to use it again you can go ahead and rename it back to what it was and you can do the restore again with that file again so I did that I also have one for twerp you can actually use this one to flash twerp uh, recovery in RUU or HBoot and then there is also this file which is pretty cool if you do have some kind of custom stuff on your device instead of seeing that custom flag at the beginning you'll see just the normal HTC logo um, if you flash that right there, which is actually an H boot for the H boot that I just updated to. So I have that in there also. So you do the same thing with that. You just rename it to that 0p6bimg.zip. All right, so that's really quick. I just wanted to let you know that's what you need to do. And there you go again. There's that 100% uh, official except for keeping root access on the device. So very, very cool.